The ABC 15 investigators broke the story nationwide in September. Unheard concerns from thousands of people who reported ringing in their ears after receiving the COVID-19 vaccine. Well, the condition known as tinnitus, now one vaccine manufacturer is listing it as a reported side effect on its fact sheet. But others deny any causal connection. As ABC 15 investigator Melissa Blasius explains, these tinnitus sufferers are begging for answers and ways to get relief. This morning, it was just awful ringing to the point where I had to like grab both of my ears to make it stop. From Stephanie Nam, a mental health worker in Santa Fe, New Mexico, to Loveland, Colorado, and retired firefighter Doug Mattingly. Sometimes where it's, it's so ungodly bad that I have to turn everything off and relax for a while and try to get my thoughts back and, and focus. To people around the world. Since I first started reporting on the vaccine and tinnitus about three months ago, I've received 600 emails from people from all over, as far away as Australia, who say they too had sudden onset or worsening tinnitus, or in some cases, hearing loss after receiving a coronavirus immunization. Even so, there's overwhelming medical evidence that the COVID-19 vaccine is safe and effective. Most people don't have any problems. And the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention track reports of adverse health events after vaccine, whether or not they are known to be related in an effort to improve vaccine safety. The CDC's VAERS database had 13,042 reports from people who complained of tinnitus after a COVID-19 shot as of December 17th. 309 of those reports are from Arizonans. It's a very small fraction of the vaccine recipients when you consider more than 500 million shots have been administered in the U.S. There is evidence that this may well be what's called an off-target inflammatory side effect that will lessen, if not resolve, over time. That Dr. Greg six. Poland is the head of Mayo Clinic's vaccine research group. He also says he developed tinnitus about 90 minutes after getting a COVID-19 vaccination. It could happen to anybody, and we need to understand if this is related, if it is related, the mechanism for that, and then research on how to relieve the the suffering. Johnson & Johnson is now acknowledging a potential risk. In its December fact sheet update for COVID-19 vaccine, also known as the Janssen vaccine, reported side effects include persistent ringing in the ears, tinnitus. But the CDC, FDA, and vaccine makers Pfizer and Moderna are not including tinnitus as a possible side effect. Pfizer sending ABC 15 this statement saying, we take adverse events that are potentially associated with our COVID-19 vaccine very seriously. Tinnitus cases have been reviewed. However, no causal link has been established. Stephanie says she saw two doctors about her hearing issues. Both agree that it was um, localized inflammation from the vaccine. She was grateful to be believed, but the prescribed steroids have not provided relief. Frustrated, she says, I'm not getting another vaccine. Dr. Poland says the risks associated with getting coronavirus far outweigh the risks of the vaccine. And he says that he would get the shot again. Now, if you want more information on how to file a report about an adverse event after getting a vaccine or how to file a vaccine injury claim, we have links on our website, abc15.com. I'm investigator Melissa Blasius, ABC 15, Arizona.